What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another edition of a mobile ride along with Uncommon Sense. It's your man Uncommon Sense here. This channel primarily focuses on all things fashion, fragrance, style, mental health, wellness, travel, and lifestyle. This ride along is going to actually center around a fragrance that's been out for a little bit. I've had it, I'm worn it for a little bit, and I want to just wait on it and give my truest thoughts once the hype died down. To be completely transparent, that fragrance is from one of my more favorite fragrance houses, right? With that being said, I set aside all my bias to ensure that I'm given a fair assessment of this fragrance. You wanna know what it is? Stay tuned, because after the jump, we're gonna get into that thing. Every single day, I'm gonna make This fragrance puts me in the mind of a fragrance I had a while ago. And for that reason, I tried my hardest not to weigh it up against that fragrance. However, I must say, this fragrance does not project as much as the fragrance that I had. But I know it's Halloween, man, and it's in the black and blue bottle. I gave that one away. It had a black jacket cord. Some very interesting notes. This one smells similar, but it smells just a bit more refined. What it made up for in sophistication and richness, it lacks in depth and projection. This is an EDP intense version. And to me, it's not that intense. It has toffee, coffee, amber wood, and to be completely honest, while it smells amazing and rich, I don't feel that it wasn't worth the retail price because I paid full retail for it. The upside is the coupons from Macy's, so I didn't pay full retail. I got somewhat of a discount. I feel at the price point at which it was in, it didn't warrant it. Understand now that this one is not meant to be a beast mode performer. It lasts. That it does. It does last. Outside of lasting, what else does it do? I'd rather my fragrance project so that I can enjoy it more than lasting longer because I can reapply. What I cannot do is make up for a lack of projection. I don't know how to do that. That's that. It's my hot take on it. When it's all said and done, this is a good fragrance. I actually like the wanted line. I'm a bit biased in terms of ensuring that I collect all of the ones that are in the fragrance line. I have Tonic, I have The Most Wanted, I have Wanted by Night, and I have the original Wanted. The one I don't have is the newer one, so I've been opting to not pick that one up. Been doing some hauls, and I've been branching more out into um, Inspire Fragrance, Inspiration Fragrances, uh, Western Houses, and I'm finding that I have a fragrance taste that's a bit more on that side of the fence. Let's run through my criteria of what makes a fragrance a solid purchase or a solid cop. Performance. It lasts. It's an order of perfume. It lasts on my skin. It gets me about seven, six or seven hours. And I'm starting to get in that place where it doesn't need to last all day to be a good performer. My performance now consists of do you project and do you last as a combination? So I'm gonna give this one a solid seven and a half because it does last. In my experience, it doesn't project the most. Could be one of those things where myself is the issue at this point. Going through a reconditioning of sorts. My clean routine consists of shower. That's what the basis that you need to make sure that you do. Bathe, you have to freaking babe because you have to start with a clean canvas cleansing moisturizing then fragrance that's my clean routine i've been using bathing products that don't completely strip all of my natural moisture but get me clean so it's that gentle mixture dove man is one of my go-to's in that department another one is dr squatch um but we're 
gonna talk about all that. We'll do that in another video because I wanna make sure that you all get all of the information that I got for you, you know what I mean? Shower, moisturize, fragrance. That's how I stay on top of my cleansing and uh, wellness. <laughs> so, performance, solid seven and a half. So, price-wise, I don't know what it's going for now. I haven't done the research on what it is going for now because I already have it. When it initially launched, it was 89-ish. So at that point, I would say price for the value, I would give this a seven. This atomizer is pretty good. You get a good amount of juice coming out with one atomization. We give that atomizer an eight. Presentation, love this bottle. I really do. Not a fan usually of all black fragrance bottles or all solid anything. I like the dynamics of the presentation to catch my eye, but it's, it's solid. It does what it does. The most wanted, Desperado, you know, that type of thing, I understand. Presentation, and again, let's let you get into the box. I do wish that the presentation of the fragrance matched the box with the chrome and the black combination. I feel like that would have been dope. But, I mean, we got those two-tone combinations on almost every other one from the Enzaro line. So I guess they want to switch it up and do something a little different. Is it a copper drop? It depends on where you are in your journey. I'm at the place where I'm removing all redundant fragrances unless it is just that good and it's duplication makes sense. If it smells like it, but it has a slight different edge, in my opinion, it's not the same. Halloween Man X, I gifted that one on and I honestly wish I wouldn't have because that fragrance is a little bit more affordable than this one. I should have kept it. But nonetheless, you live and you learn. Or you won't. You'll just keep making the same mistakes. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that. Place, where do you wear this to? This one could be a date night fragrance. It definitely is a what I feel to be a cool, cold weather fragrance. Versatility of place, I would say this one gets about a seven and a half. So when you add it all up, we're getting about 7.75-ish. Somewhere in there is where we're getting for an average. It does just have a depth and a richness that Halloween Man X, in my experience, didn't have. This one evokes an emotion of clean sophistication in class, which again, I roll with. I, that's my brand. I love feeling sophisticated, classy, sitting up straight, you know, posture together, outfit and look together, grooming on point. That's my jam. So for all intents and purposes, this one fits more in line with my brand in terms of my personal brand. But in terms of the Uncommon Sense brand, this fragrance is not that uncommon. Which is part of the reason why I waited so long to review it. I'll come at you a little bit later. I, 